It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the Hawks and the Niners, and it comes your way next on Madden Football. Now from the home of the 49ers, Levi Stadium in Santa Clara, this is EA Sports coverage of the National Football League. So good to have you with us, Mike Tirico, Greg Olson up here in the booth. And Greg, this is one of the... The veteran Jason Myers will get this one started. And off we go from Santa Clara. Debo Samuel going to get a chance to return it. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. Now the return man is a bit slow getting up after that kick. He'll throw to begin with Purdy. And that is incomplete. They told us this week they were going to try to come out fast. And tell you what, that's exactly what they did. Put immediate pressure on this secondary and let them know, hey, all game long today, you better defend every blade of grass because we're coming out firing. And even though that ball falls incomplete, it goes a long way in setting up the rest of this game plan as the game unfolds. He's going to be taken down, but there's a late flag in the backfield that might give him 15 more yards. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Shotgun snap to Purdy. Throw downfield and hauled in by Samuel. They get 20 on the connection. First down, 49 Purdy going to put it up again. That's caught. Christian McCaffrey. And they're going to take this into the red zone to the 15-yard line. They've done a nice job spreading the ball around. Make the defense have to account for as many different weapons as possible here early. But think back to our conversation with this coaching staff, Mike. They identified this guy as someone they needed to get involved early and often. So that might be his first target. I don't think it's going to be his last. So that'll do it for a fast-moving first quarter of play. This opening drive, it has been a work of art. Now, can they put the finishing touches on? It's first and goal. And that'll be a pickup of three. I'm a little closer. Here's second and goal. Again, it'll be McCaffrey. And this time, he's in. Christian McCaffrey. Touchdown, 49ers. Now Jake Moody for the extra point. He knocks it through. And the 49ers will take a 7-0 lead. Still a little time. Final minute of this first half. We'll see if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way. Across the 20, they'll mark them down before the 25-yard line. And that's where the offense will take over. The Seahawks come on, and that means it's Geno Smith. What a story he's been. Real turnaround here in his 12th year now in the NFL. Came out to Seattle, backed up Russell Wilson the last three years. Greg, he has been the starter, and he runs this Seattle offense now. As hard as it may be, Mike, to resist, I don't think they need to come out and think we have to match them big play for big play after just giving up that early score. Stick to your plan. Pick up the first first down and allow this game to start unfolding and settle into a rhythm. Execute your game plan. Don't try to match what your opponents do. Here we go, here we go. 
On second down, Smith. Complete to the former Buckeye, Jackson Smith and Jigba. And out of bounds he goes, just shy of midfield. That's good for 27 and a first down. From the gun, it's Gina. He'll get this to the veteran tight end, Noah Fant. And he's out of bounds, but they are in the red zone, out inside the 20. A first down throw for Smith. And the rush gets home. He'll go down. They got him. Now Seattle going to use the first of their timeouts. Clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. From the shotgun, Smith. This finds Smith and Jigba along the sideline. These are the play calls, Mike, that offensive coordinators use to just get their quarterback and their passing game into some sort of rhythm. Easy pitch and catch, get the ball out of his hand, see a completion. These typically, as the game goes on, lead to bigger and bigger gains. The Amador Lenore there defensively to break that one up. Myers kick is good. And the Seahawks are on the board. It's seven to three. And that's a really nice boost here before the break. I mean, you work the clock well, you're able to steal some points. The biggest thing is you're able to build a little momentum now going into the locker room at halftime. A good return as he takes it across the 30. Here's first and 10. Back to throw, Purdy. Now a shot downfield for Samuel. That's going to be incomplete. They took a shot on the final play. Prayer not answered. And that is how this first half will come to an end. Pretty interesting first half. We'll see if any strategy changes for the next 30 minutes or more as this second half gets underway. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The tight end Fant in motion. Here comes the third-year man out of Michigan State, Kenneth Walker. A gain of four as he's taken down. Here's second and six. Working out of the gun, Smith. He'll complete it to Barner. And they'll work this close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. Don't need much. It is third and inches. Hey, we go, we go. We'll try and run it with Walker. And it looks like he's going to have that first down. He will, not by a whole lot, but he's got it enough. And they convert on third down. Hey, we go, to Come on, come on. We'll keep it on the ground and keep it with Walker. And he'll work forward for about three. It's second down. Play action now. It's Gino. That is brought in. And he will score. Tyler Lockett. Touchdown, Seahawks. A beautiful combination in the air there. The pass downfield and bringing it the rest of the way into the end zone for the touchdown. And it's really just a great route, Mike, and then a beautiful throw. The accuracy of the throw is what allowed the receiver not only to secure the catch, but then be able to turn it up and finish the play and find himself in the end zone. So points at a premium. Defensive battle so far as we are through three. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports.
So the kickoff team out there one final time in the final minute as they kick it away. Samuel, going to see what he can do. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. This is first and ten. Let's go now. Check up. They'll drop to throw. He'll let one go downfield for Jennings. That one broken up. It is incomplete. They tried the shot on first down. Couldn't connect. It'll bring up second down. From the gun, it's Purdy. Samuel has it working in the middle. And he'll be tackled up around the 45-yard line. And now we're at the point of the game, Mike, where someone has to step up and make a play. That's exactly what this quarterback and his receiver did. It gives them now a fresh set of downs and a chance to go down and make this game very interesting. Throwing on first down is Purdy. He'll let one go downfield for Jennings. And he's going to go all the way. How oh, about some late magic? They've taken the lead here in the final minute of play. Well, Mike, we're kind of looking at each other up here saying, do they have one more big play left in them? And they got it. When it's all said and done, it should more than likely turn out that that play is the game winner. On is Moody to add the extra point. It's up and good. And the 49ers are on top. It's 14 to 10. So the kickoff team out there one final time in the final minute as they kick it away. And no chance to return this one. Through the end zone for a touchback. Here's first down. There we go. From the shotgun, it's Smith. He'll get this complete to Walker. And he'll be taken down up at the 40 yard line. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Here's Gino. That'll be incomplete. And now we are down to likely just one more play. This is one of those situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because think, Mike, they know this offense has to be one-dimensional. This has to be a pass. So what do they do? They bring in extra defensive backs. They clog up the back end. And at the end of the day, there's just nowhere for the offense to go with the ball. And that's going to be incomplete. The defense holds here in the final minute. And they're going to get out of here with a victory. So a win here for the 49ers. They use a little home cooking here. They play a complete football game. They're going to send their fans home quite happy. So that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports.